So apparently we're in Hawaii now. God, I want death. Okay, how long has it been? It's certainly gone off the ship. I no longer hear voices around me. We're made out of attracting this staff's outrage. Uh, before long, I've started to see a light peer through the hole in the suitcase. Finally, my time, huh? I close my eyes for, in preparation for the Lord's embrace. Are you ready? Are you, gonna, are you just gonna stay in there all day or what? Huh? Want me to zip it back up? And here I was thinking I found a way out of this mess. Make sure you stay in here. I'm safe from being assaulted by a makeshift weaponry. Plus, I don't want to walk. I sit here and relax for the rest of the trip. Yeah, that seems nice. Just me and this tiny plastic coffin. I think it's a beautiful senior sanctuary. Auntie tips it over and gives it a shake, causing me to place plant on the pavement. Let's go, neat. And how do you know I'm not planning to go to college or getting a job? Okay, you got me. I climbed my feet and brushed myself off. I'm asking how much of your hair come came out when you were in the case. It's all over my clothes. Yes, I shed. Get over with. Get over it. I... Wait, shed? Like wild animal? I'll see stares at me. Fine. I'm starting to learn that questioning her doesn't really get me, get me anywhere. So where to now? Can you know the answer to that? I guess. Well, it's a good thing I took us to the beach. By the hall on the beach, we can swim to Brazil. All the way to Brazil. I can barely get off my couch and watch to my walk to my bed. Do you think you expect me to... Do, do you ex really expect me to walk to be able to swim hundreds of miles? Wait a minute. You can't even swim. I told you, I can with a floaty. I can't fucking do this. We'd have a better shot if I tried punting you across the ocean. You think you can? I'm very tempted to take her up on that and give her the hardest kick I can straight. I can straight to the Fucking head! You want me? I'd probably break my foot with a bony ass body. Or more specifically, her body's bony ass. Very flat, by the way. Not worth it. Mid head. You know what? I bet that would feel therapeutic right now. Sure, let's try. Alright, beach time. Yeah, yeah, we're ready to get kicked to Brazil. Normie you know I mean? dashes towards the water. I'm not saving her. And <laughs> she stole some kid's pool noodle. She won't be drowning my care. Sadly. Nothing else to do, I decide to waltz to the shore. Come on, Hope. Scared you're gonna drown? Nope. This trip has made me the least scared of death since I since I was born. If anything, I'm open to the idea of it now. I can reunite to real last. <sighs> I close my eyes and listen to waves and drifting along the sand. Life has changed so much since then. If only she could see me now, if only. It's only a terminal thumbnail. The water lands me on my back. I haven't seen Nazi has filled my entire suitcase with water, making a spade makeshift bucket of sorts. That's where all the water came from. Wait, where are my clothes then? I see a pair of pants floating on the horizon. <sighs> Nazi towers over me. Someone's so small, she does. Do, she sure does that a lot. What's wrong? Are you gonna fight back? Nope. Now come on, you're no fun, Hope. Whatever, I'm gonna go play with myself. Hey, yo, can I watch? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she realized what she was implying. Oh well. I'm, I now can get some peace and quiet. In my solitude, my summer call has called to me. Maybe I can get someone to buy me food. What's that would do? I hope they have those in Hawaii. Maybe they do. I don't know them. I've never been to Hawaii. Oh well, might as well try. try. After just a couple hours, I find a perfect target. As a girl pass out, faced down in the sand, using a beach towel as a blanket, with a bag and an umbrella covering her. The bag itself is on catch tie. It's a baguette sticking out of it. Why someone thought it'd be fitting to bring a baguette to the beach, I probably will never know. Maybe there's even more food in there. My mouth is watering as I creep, the, creep up on the unsuspecting girl. Man, it sounds creepy. Right. <laughs> yeah, it does. Pushing that thought aside in the back of my mind, I look around to make sure no one's watching me. <laughs> Alright, seems close to clear. Time for a baguette napping. I wish I had a spec baguette bag. Instantly fall down. Wah! Why does it keep on happening to me? 
Also, how am I going to explain this? I push off. I push off of the girl's back to see myself at the feet. Hey, I, uh, I'm sorry for that. Wasn't watching where I was going. <sighs> girl rolls over on her back to get a complete look and do this the world's saddest attempted robbery. What? Where? Where am I? Oh no, where have they done her? Beach? She blinks a couple times. All right, Hawaii. How wee wee. <laughs> Hawaii. The only person I remember butchering Hawaii that badly is. So what's your name? Hope. Oh, that's a, okay. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> oh. Uh, thanks. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised she isn't supposed to be flaming on her. I got lucky with the velocity of my body that collided with her head. And your name is. Sai. <laughs> Did I see Greg in that one? <laughs> Tin Sushi? <laughs> Sa. Sa. Sarah? Well, it's nice to meet you, Sarah. <laughs> That's weird. This girl reminds me of the Yeah, she didn't kill herself. <laughs> she didn't die. She fainted and get away from your bitch ass. This girl reminds me a lot of Sayori. So, do you want to get a piece of that bread? Uh, uh, sh sure. Well, why not? <laughs> What's with this girl's problem? She's so jumpy. Thanks, I could really use some food right now. Yeah, me too. Sarah grabs two baguettes and hands one to me before grabbing it one herself. What's up, Sarah? I didn't think you'd see you here. Hi, Natsuki. I missed you. I knew someone so shy and outgoing at the same time. Wait, did Natsuki just call her Sayori? Is this the laughter I left her out? Please, please. I turned Natsuki. So, she reminds you of her too, right? Uh, this is Sayori help. Oh, what? She, she's dead. How could she be in Hawaii? Simple. Who else do you think would bring a baguette to the beach? Huh. Well, you have a point. May Hawaii some sort of magical powers? Like culture? But this isn't conclusive of enough evidence. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. But how does she know Natsuki's name? Unless... I gaze my, I fix my gaze back at Sarah, who's trying her best to crawl away from both of us. Sayori? Is it really you? Uh, no, no, no. I, it couldn't be. I'm Samantha, remember? <laughs> it was Sarah. But how? I... I, I I begin to get choked up. Am I so hungry I'm starting to see things? At least I haven't gone feral like Noski yet. You... I, I I found your body. How are you here? Uh... Magic? Alright, you, you killed yourself a couple months ago. Yeah, how are you here? Siri so pauses for a minute before she speaks. Boat? But... <laughs> I touch out to, I reach out and touch her to make sure she's in the ghost. My hand reaches out and touches against her body. Sure enough, she doesn't exist. I'm torn between hugging her and putting her six feet under like she's supposed to be. I, I, I thought I lost you forever. You even sent me a personalized suicide note. I, I mourned. Well, you just mourned me the wrong thing. That's alright, Hope. Sayori so reached out for her bag and produces a picture. Here, here take, a pic take a look. It's that goddamn fucking doll. I fucking hate that picture of the damn doll. I fucking hate it. I fucking hate that damn per fucking picture of the doll, damn doll. I know what that doll is, and I fucking hate it. Fuck you. <laughs> is, is that... Is it really a doll? Why does she have a doll herself anyway? Why the fuck does someone make that? Fucking weirdos. Why does she have a... A picture of a... said hanging doll? How do you not notice? We're buried. The doll is buried. The entire school had a funeral for a doll. I guess. I wouldn't know. I was in Hawaii. <laughs> why didn't anyone else notice? Now you see why I left? Yeah, I see your point. Because but you didn't have time to waste your time pitying me, you know. Damn. And I thought I was the one feeling the food here. Food? Here. In your hand? Oh yeah. You want one to nothing? Yeah. Sorry, hands not get back out of round. They look a little out of date. Better nothing. I bite into my baguette. Not go bite by her baguette. I can't get out of her mouth and slap it across the stomach with it. Fuck off, you can have your own. What did you say to me? I'm not doing this anymore. Can we just please just can we please just eat our food in peace? Is that how this goes, Hope? You can't just I raise my arm and place a finger on her lips. 
Shut. Not a word. After a moment of confusion, Natsuki returns from her super and stupor and grips my wrist, pushing away from her control face. All right. I can't tell she's really going to give in. Natsuki jabs her bread in my face. Get a mouthful of carbohydrates. So this is what deep fruit feels like. Natsuki. I ignore her Natsuki pushing me in the back and attempt to jam the baguette further down my throat. Man, <laughs> this would be a way. Hell of a way to go out. So beat some I'll kill myself at home by accident. And again, I wouldn't want to give the bad get warrior here satisfaction of satisfaction of slaying me. I swing my legs up and kick as hard as I can, sending her body off to the distance. Unfortunately not to Brazil. But hey, still felt pretty enjoyable. I cock my head up to search my target. She backs up a little bit, crawling away before she begins to get on her feet. I sit back up, my bag in hand ready for combat. <laughs> Natsuki stands idly while whirling her weapon. Eventually, her hand eye coordination fails her and she drops her baguette in up on the sand. She wails out a cry for a fallen comrade. Now's my chance. I dash straight for Natsuki, ready to strike. My feet beat the sand with the soles of my shoes and the sole of the salami sand sandwich little samurai. <laughs> I close the gap and lash out at her. She managed to catch on my attack, but she's too late. Her breath sword is out of reach. With all my might, I swing upon a fury never felt before. Hey, quit biting it! Bad Natsuki, bat off! How's her jaw this strong? Guys, quit it. Not Sayuri steps in between the two of us. You two are supposed to be friends. Can you guys just eat your own food? He started it. How did I? Please? Fine. You are turn and tell and take our seats. Why should she eat my first anyway? Oh yeah, sunny, sunny, you turn dominance. After Sarah brought us back to Earth, all three of us demolished her bread in seconds. You and Nazi has been covered in sand. <laughs> it's not except for the crashing waves in the distance. You and Siri and I know what, really know what to see. Nazi seems to just not care. Or should I go tired and st- of sitting in the, be- in the sand? So, I never really got to ask. What made you think it was a good idea to figure suicide and come to Hawaii? Um... No reason, I guess. No reason? Seriously? Well, I guess it's not no reason. But it's nothing, it's not really important. You shouldn't worry about the past, help. Uh, I, I mean, I guess so. But now that you're alive, anything. But this doesn't make sense. So why? You, uh. You don't have to. You don't have to pay taxes if you're dead. You don't? I think so. I heard I heard my dad say that once. Holy shit, maybe I should kill myself. No Nazi and no taxes. I can't think of anything I'd want more. Come on, Siri. I, I don't I didn't know you can I know you didn't fake your death because you wanted to commit tax evasion. You don't even know how taxes work. Exactly. They're so scary. Come on, Siri. Share a warm smile. <laughs> The only smile I made on this entire trip. To be honest with me, Sari pauses as playing her word, next words carefully. Then she takes a deep breath before addressing me. <sighs> I thought if I left, everyone could have fun without me. And if you were dead, if you thought I was dead, you wouldn't have to worry about where I was. I would have, it would have been right there for you. That is the most backwards logic I've heard in. Actually, I think that's still smarter than the most nonsense that spews out of Nazi's mouth. You thought being dead would be less disturbing than going missing? Exactly. I had to seal the guilt of letting my best friend die. I, I'm sorry. But it was a doll, you know? <sighs> I didn't think so at the time. You, you traumatized me, sorry. I thought it lost you forever. I wasn't trying to hurt you, Hope. Uh, you said it was all my fault. In your suicide note that it was addressed to me. I thought you'd hate me even more. And you definitely wouldn't care if I... Then, then you would definitely wouldn't have cared if I disappeared. I sighed. How? She managed to pa- plan everything so poorly. It's impressive. But I guess she tricked me. Are you hearing this, Natsuki? Natsuki? 
and back to where Natsuki's sitting. I splinter. I have hundred spot on the towel empty. I take a deep breath. Scared if she's done now. If I don't look, you can't see me. Yeah. Curious against me to turn around. Natsuki is running away from a middle-aged woman who is hobbling after her. Beside her is a kid. She's still pulling a little I guess it's not hers. But when she decides she wants something, I've learned the hard way it's difficult to dissuade her. Using my mass reduction. That's probably the boy's mom. If I don't get rid of her, she's a bird and nothing more. Maybe. I can get her off my back. Alright, what's the cheapest way to get Brazil from here? Uh, what's Brazil? Well, that's where my mom is staying right now. And where Nazi thinks her mom is. I remember her. She's always. She's always saying funny things like, I shall become the it, or I have to rebel against my god. And the fear within me is beyond anything the soul can make. And there's, and there's the one time she told me, redacted, before, before pouring coffee all over herself. I wonder what she said. She was so silly. By the way, what's the... Oh, no. That, lucky. She was so, she was so silly. Um... She knows my mom. Yeah, she's kind of weird when you weren't around. And again, I don't remember what mom is like anymore. Like this place, ominous blood pent pentagram on the attic ceiling. So, getting to Bristol? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I guess you can fly. There's an airport somewhere around here. How far a walk is it? It'll take you a whole day's hope. Just get a taxi. The funny story. The two of us are kind of broke. Or someone snuck on board without my knowledge. Hey, maybe we can tag along, Pigeon. Huh? You don't, you don't have to take me along with your trip for Natsuki. You two are having so much fun. Is this what Siri calls fun? She must have been a masochist since the last time I saw her. Siri, this trip has been the least fun I've had in my life. I'm just spending time with anyone else right now. It would be a dream come true. Even Natsuki, who managed to me for setting the school on fire. <laughs> but seriously, I missed you so much in the last couple months. Well, morning was narrowly felt the same without you, without keep, you keeping me company. Same with the club. Monica was even worse when you weren't around. I, I took you for granted. I'm sorry. So what do you say? If, if not for you, do it for an old friend. She looks down the sand. When I just drank you down, not at all. Unless she started keeping me at rock bottom. Alright, Brazil, here we come. <laughs> That's the spirit. Oh, how I missed a cheery smile. Let me pack my things real quick and we can go, okay? I'll help. Normally I'd be happily idling around. Well, she did all the work, but I have a delay here. Please, when all of a sudden, I feel something slamming to me. Landing me face first in the sand. Damn, too late. I roll over and dust myself off before lifting my head to, fa to face who can be only be Natsuki. Ah. <sighs> Why are you going, Dart? Fuck. It was my plan to keep the wrath of the Master Swordswoman. I was standing still. How are you in this title? Don't make me swing at you again. Before I can plead not to be executed by a curtain, the sound of sand is kicked up and kicked up catches Natsuki's attention. She's trying to see the same old Marine is sitting after. Ah! Natsuki grips my arm, firmly and chugs me to my feet before running as quickly as she can. I run after her, not attempt to trip. At running around, I do not seriously still war working on taking. Taking on the umbrella. Siri, come on! But that she hops on, hops up and runs after us. We dash down the road until I'm out of breath. <laughs> How far do you have so, so much cinema? I got it from my dad. <sighs> right. Hey, do you think I caught something? Sorry, things from not these things from her. And she's behind her back. She her wrists and make contact with her dead curtain rod. Deadly curtain rod. Nope. Hi, my suitcase. I spin around to find Siri has fallen face first on, on the sidewalk. You okay? Siri pushes herself off the ground and rises her feet. The pavement tastes like paint. And how do you know what paint tastes like? <laughs> I'm not going to question it. You coming with us? Sure. I want to go on an adventure. That's has a spirit. All right, weirdos. Siri, Brazil isn't waiting for me. All right, let's go back home and pack my sump. Okay? So let's lead the way. After a treacherous tropical journey, we finally board a plane. Natsuki ends up 
trigger nor on it as a bag, so it looks like a bit of safety. Baby Glock is crying louder than Nautiki is yelling at me great. I didn't think that'd be possible. Why can't you give me the window seat? You have your own seat, it's not like the universe can just stand. I point to the fasten seatbelt sign. Why are you pointing at ceiling? Seatbelt sign. Can't get up when it's on. That's like, why not? Lots of turbulence. What the hell is that? I let out sigh. Figures you wouldn't know? Hey, I've never been on a plane before. I think I have the money to do so. You too, Natsuki? We can join the money. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Say, Ori, what the fuck, man? We can join the mile club. <laughs> we can join the mile high club together. <laughs> no reason for that privacy, Ori. What's that? It's when you fly for the first time. I think. That's definitely not what it means. What does it mean, Hope? Just <laughs> forget it. <laughs> you tell him, but it takes less effort to let them remain blissfully aware. I invite myself, but I don't even, I don't even want to joke about putting my genital, genitals anywhere in Natsuki. As we lift off, Siri raises her arm like she's in a roller coaster. My life, <laughs> come here, come. Shush. What is that? I can hear where the bumpy. I'll never have I felt second hand embarrassment in my this great in my life. I decided best to ignore and avoid getting here any reason to continue talking. Don't turn away from me, Meanie. Bury my face in my hand. Please just straight goes down of the sky. Before she continued to tie raise pretty, I turned my head and put a finger in my mouth. Oh sorry. That's fine. At least she wasn't actually act, trying to actively cause chaos, havoc. Either either word is fine, cause God kill me now. Speaking of which, where is Natsuki? She, run, she keeps on running off on me. I was give you more sleep for once. I need some melatonin. That's what it is, right? Or is it ibuprofen? I feel a shaky hand tug on my sleeve. Besides, bes being pulled out of my seat, I lift my head to see Sari staring at me. She just looks like a mess. Alright, what did Natsuki do? The war. I can't stop seeing it. What? Vietnam. I see the planes flying. So you never been to Vietnam, much less one of the plane. Oh yeah. Thanks, Hope. Sari is an interesting being. Are you nervous? I guess. <laughs> oh, is it your first time? No, I've been nervous a lot of times. No, I I I'm in your first time flying. Are you joining the high club with me? Definitely not. Aww. <laughs> I mean I wanna join the high club with <laughs> I raise I, I towards Ion Sinowski dragging the horseman towards my <laughs> She's like if she got a new target for the flight. At least it isn't me. Turn right to my seat and we can turn around with this built in tablet thingy. Pressing a few buttons and look through the games. I could play some golf. Nah, I remember that being boring. Mm, hey, help. Why can't you leave me alone? Where's the fun in that? Ah, uh, of course, silly me. Captain turns on the speaker and informs that we'll be landing soon. And put on our seatbelts. All right, Nalski, you gotta sit down. Why should I? Because the speaker god told us to. Yeah, that. I don't wanna. See so so yourself. From Slater, the features of the desert grow larger as we descend in altitude. Hey, Nalski, last time I warned you to sit down. Why should I? Now, I could warn her, <laughs> but you know what's more fun. <laughs> I mean, see, look out the window in anticipation of the plane landing. Any second now. And. Wah! <laughs> there she goes. I let out a chuckle. Natsuki, are you okay? Siri runs out of her seat to check on her. Siri to the rescue! She flips over. Natsuki begins to look over with the cra- like chest compressions. I mean, see doesn't Siri desperate to attempt to save Natsuki, who is trying to swat her away. And clearly breathing. Natsuki plants her lips. Yo! 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 They joined the Mile High Club! I should shut the hell up. I should really shut the hell up. And then Sarah didn't plant her lips on the Natsuki's. <laughs> you really want to join my high club together. Although we aren't a mile in the air anymore. Get off me, you weirdo. Sorry. I was just trying to help. Natsuki growls. Here you back off. Ah, <laughs> uh, Vegas. I want to go there. One anyway, I'm going to pause here. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Good. Bye.